I'm Kelly Mariani of Scribe Winery. We are so honored and excited to be featured in the spring issue of Sunset Magazine. Sunset is such a classic and iconic magazine of the West. So we're out here on the Scribe Estate. Spring is happening on the farm. The vineyard's going through bud break. The garden is going off. SCS members are back at the Hacienda. And so today we're gonna make the sesame seed flatbread that's featured in the latest issue. So to make the flatbread, we'll start with three quarters of a cup of warm water, two teaspoons of yeast that we can just sprinkle on top, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and then a quarter cup each of whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour. Now we'll whisk this together. This is a sponge, so we'll let this rest for 10 minutes and let the yeast do its thing before adding the rest of the flour. To our sponge, we're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of olive oil, and one teaspoon of salt. And now we'll just mix that up. The dough's still pretty shaggy, but we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of yogurt. And now, once it starts to come together, we're gonna knead it for two minutes. Okay, I've kneaded this for a few minutes, so now I'm just gonna cover it with a damp towel and let it rest for 10 minutes. And then we'll go back and knead it briefly one more time before we let it do its final rise. So our dough's been rising for about two hours and now we can shape it. So I'm gonna pour it out onto a dusted board. Dust it with some more flour. And then shape it into four or six pieces depending on how big you want your flatbreads to be. So I'm gonna roll these balls out for our flatbreads. They don't have to be perfectly round, but more or less a circle. The trick to kneading the dough balls like this is you don't want too much flour or else the dough will just slide all around. You want it to give have a little bit of traction and stick. So now we'll just cover these dough balls with a damp towel and let them rise for about an hour or so. So now our dough ball has about doubled in size. So now we can stretch them out and throw them in the pizza oven. You can also cook them on a stove in a stainless steel pan. It works perfectly well. So we'll just stretch these out. All right, now we can get this in the oven. Nice little poof. Take a few minutes to cook. Great. All right, we have one more flatbread in the oven. Okay, so as the flatbreads are coming out of the oven, we can rub them with some fresh olive oil and then sprinkle them with toasted sesame seeds and flaky salts. Okay, let's give these a taste. I really love this flatbread because it's super airy and light, but still really chewy. Mm, I love them. They're so good for dips, sopping up sauces, making a little sandwich. I love it. 